UNA preseason, week six. I do not own the rights to this music, but I'm gonna surely rock it. Diva! UNA University preseason, precession week six, precession week six, as we prepare for the UNA University. We're going to get it started. We're going to get you loaded up in the university. We're going to get you loaded up with these laws. We're going to get you loaded up with some information. And we're going to get you loaded up with some power. Diva! UNA University, pre-session, week six. Yes! We're going to rock this. Rock this law. Diva. We're going to get this thing going. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Once again, this is the pre-season, pre-session rather. Summer season, 2020. Week number six. University. Law seminar. Business. Diva. We're going to get this thing started. Y'all come on in. Halo, halo, halo. Diva. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good to see y'all. Halo. Y'all know what we get ready to put it down with the law. Y'all see the topic? Y'all see what the topic is? Now, we're going to load everybody up. We're going to send everyone the link to uh, the UNA University who's supposed to be in there. So what are we doing today? First of all, for those of y'all who are new to uh, the session, welcome. Halo, Diva. I'm yours truly, Diva Laree. <clears throat> And what are we talking about today? You know, we're talking about some laws. Now, this is uh, the pre-session, all right, before the university. And what I deal with here, I'm going to talk to you about, you all know, my favorite, the universal laws and the hierarchy of laws. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about the truth about foreclosure, all right? And we're going to talk about how to stand. Again, all of my videos, they have remedy, all right? They got remedy. So, y'all check out all these videos. Uh, for those of y'all who want to be a part of the university, I need you to go to uh, divalarie.com. That's D-I-V to the A-L-Y-R-I.com. Divalarie.com. D-I-V-A-L-Y-R-I.com. Go to divalarie.com, and you're going to find... Uh, all of the sessions from uh, summer season, or uh, the pre-sessions for summer season, and as well as the sessions from last season, which were huge. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and check those out. And uh, you can get the university sessions, too, with a donation in uh, the UNA University. So go and check those out, because I tell you what, uh, we pack a lot of information here, and we're giving you remedy. Now... Uh, I need to talk about what we're doing this summer season, and I want to thank everybody for joining us. I'm trying to, I need to send this uh, link to uh, UNA. Uh, UNA, please make sure that those who are supposed to be in the, C, the uh, uh, UNA University get in there. Uh, so for those of y'all who want to join us by link, uh, by Zoom, let me make sure I get this to uh, UNA. 
For those of y'all who want to join us by Zoom, you'll be able to join us by Zoom. And uh, for those of y'all who can join us, meet you over in the university. But this is the, the pre-session where I go over a few things uh, that have not been told to you. Now, first of all, I want to I want to give thanks. I got to give thanks to the spirits. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here and to deliver this information uh, to everybody who wants it. Everybody who wants it, those who are really seeking growth and seeking knowledge, thank you for giving me the opportunity to deliver it. Thank you all uh, for wanting to know the information, for taking time to pay attention. You all paid attention. And I want to thank everybody who's behind the scenes working with me, uh, the Matriarch 13, uh, all of you all. I thank you so much. Uh, May, thank you so much for what you do. Uh, and all my brothers, Atum. Um, uh, Shali and uh, Kelvin, thank you all for working uh, so hard behind the scenes to make everything right with you and A. All right, now, also, thank you all for being here. What's up, Scott? Uh, let's see, Cameron, hey, little brother. Uh, Wardell, Wardell, uh, let's see here. Who else? You and A's in the house, MJ, Cameron, King, Amaru, uh, Gia, thank you so much for being here. So now, listen, this is what we're going to do. Um, I just want to, uh, once again, make sure I point out what we're doing for this season. This is the summer season, all right? We're finishing this up. We're getting to it. We're in the middle of it, actually. Uh, the summer season. Now, I want to point out to you how we're working it because we've broken it down into chapters, okay? So we had our introduction. Uh, and so let's take a look at how we've broken this down. Uh, okay, so we've got the 10-week uh, seminar, all right? We had our introduction, all right? We had the introduction, which was our first week, and then we have chapter one, which is a three-week session, all right? All of our three-week sessions are 300, they're $300 minimum donation, all right? And so we've uh, completed the three-week session. Uh, if you want that, you are welcome to uh Hit UNA America up in the inbox, and we'll be glad to make sure you get that $300 minimum donation. Uh, we are now in Chapter 2. Once again, a $300 minimum donation. Now, this season, we're talking about trust and securing your business and yourself under trust. Uh, this uh, last season, last week, rather, we went over the 508 and the 501 and the C Corp and the S Corp and all these other corps and what the difference is and why you just need to put yourself under trust. So this week, we're going to go over uh, what insurance is. Uh, we're going to go over uh, securing that and how uh, to really just continue to stand in law and secure your business in law. Once again, a $300 minimum donation. Uh, chapter one is a prerequisite for chapter two. And now we got, uh, we're coming up chapter three uh, in a couple of weeks which will be where we're manifesting, all right? So now let's talk about this real quick, and then I'm going to get into it, the truth about the energies. Now, one of the questions is, you know, what is the purpose of being in the seminar sessions? Y'all got to understand. Uh, first of all, as I say every, every week, and I'm going to continue to say to those who uh, really want to get this, you got to pay for everything, whether you pay attention, you pay with your hard energies, you're bartering, or you pay with Federal Reserve notes. For me, it's all good whichever way. I'm going to deliver to you remedy in everything we do. We've got plenty of uh, uh, free videos up on the uh, YouTube, uh, my YouTube. Uh, and the, but the advantages of being in the seminar is that I'm going to answer questions. What I want to do is provide for you that what what I didn't have when I was, uh, you know, trying to build in this thing, I didn't have anyone who I can ask questions to, who I can go to. I didn't have a group that I can deal with. And so that's what this seminar provides. That's what being a part of UNA provides is a group that you can go to and get true answers, real answers. Um, and somebody who can be there and walk you through uh, your sessions. Now, when we go into the seminar, we are doing it. We ain't going in there talking about, well, you know, I'm just going to teach you. No, I, I tell you, bring your bills, bring your uh, whatever your issues are, bring them. 
for your business, bring them because we're going to deal with them. That's where we do that in the seminar. So uh, that's the advantage of being a part of the seminar. So if you're not uh, if you're wanting to be a part of the seminar, once again, it's a $300 minimum donation. And we're going to make sure you get in there and we're going to make sure you're able to network. That's the other thing. So you want to be a part of the seminar. And even if you, you know, you're not feeling that you can, that's fine. Uh, you can get uh, the, the pre-seasons. You can go to uh, divalarie.com. If you want to make your donation, go to D-I-V-A. L-Y-R-I dot com, dot com. Go there and make your donation, all right, uh, so that you could be a part of the seminars. And again, uh, you keep studying, keep working. Even when you come into the seminars, you have to keep studying. You have to keep paying attention. All right, so now, all right, y'all got it? So those of y'all who are supposed to be in the seminar, go ahead and get ready to load up. You will be given the link, hit you in a America up so that you can make sure that you're in the seminar. We're going to be in there in about 30 minutes, the top of the hour. So every Sunday uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I do the uh, pre-season, pre-session. I want to keep saying, I'll do the pre-session. All right. Well, I'm giving you the information, uh, some information that, uh, you know, going over some of the things that we don't know. Also, every, uh, at 2 at 3 o'clock, we'll be in the UNA University, all right? For those of you all who have donated to the sessions, uh, you can get into the UNA University and just hit UNA uh, America up so that we can get you the link so that you can be on Zoom or you can be on, um, you know, the Facebook, whichever one you want in the Facebook UNA University. All right, now, now, Hayoka, Halo. All right, so now let me get into this now. Let me get into the session. Halo, halo, halo. Diva, yeah. All right, the truth about your energies. The truth about foreclosure and how to stand in law. Now. Let me say this, uh, because a lot of us are really on this thing about land, and I want to claim the land, and we're going to take the land back, and we're going to, I need y'all to get this right. Now, I always talk about the universal laws and the hierarchy of laws. If you do not have those, I want you to go to um, UNA Republic, UNA Republic dot com forward slash docs, D-O-C-S, UNA Republic dot com forward slash docs, D-O-C-S, and that in there, you will find uh, the, U the hierarchy of laws as well as uh, the universal laws, all right? Now, why are they so important? I speak all the time about energies. The, the, the universal laws deal with energies. Whatever energy you put out must come back. Now, a lot of us want to believe that we're victims and that, uh, you know, things were stolen from us and this and that. Y'all got to remember, and as I've said in, in many of the cosmic circle uh, sessions, and those of y'all who don't have it, go back and find the Cosmic Circle sessions where I tell, I talk about what we really are. We're spiritual entities. We've been in and out of this dimension many times. And uh, a lot of us have put out energies, all of us. That's why we're here, because we've got lessons to learn. And so what we've got to understand is that if your spirits are not right, then you're going to continue to get the energy that you're getting. It, it, you know, we're feeling all oh, uh, people stolen from us and this one is doing this and, and racism and all the spiritual energies, spiritual energies. Y'all got to get it because when you get it, then you're going to be able to get any and everything you want. That includes land, that includes money, that includes gold and wealth and whatever else you want. The deal is we're not recognizing energies. And this is why I go over the universal laws. Why is this important, Diva? I just want some land. I just want the documents that I can fill out so I can just get my land. Understand this. If you don't have knowledge of self, and if you don't have your energies spiritually correct, you won't be able to hold it. 
You won't be able to stand on it. You won't be able to hold it because you won't be able to stand on it. It takes, first of all, getting your spiritual energies right. Why was the land, quote unquote, taken from us in the first place? Now, I go back and talk about this. You carbonated women. Y'all are the beginning. You carbonated women. And don't let nobody tell you different. Science shows you all over the place. Our Albion friends will even tell you who you are. They'll tell you. They know who you are. You don't know who you are. So you're, you're steadily fighting everything outside of you, and you're not recognizing the energies within you. This is important now. I'm giving you the real money. I'm giving you the real gifts right here as I'm talking to you. Pay attention. So you're out here fighting all of these people. You carbonated women, y'all are the beginning. You're the mother. You don't get it. When you get your mind right and your spiritual energies right, it's all going to be returned to you without a fight, without a weapon, without, without a march, without a picket sign, without a vote. All the voting goes on within. <laughs> all right. So you've got to get your energies right and recognize you are not a victim. We put out some energies carbonated mothers, carbonated matriarchs. We put out some energies. And we've got to come into account for those energies that we've put out. Once we get our minds right, oh, the fight is going gonna, is gonna to be very easy to overcome. All right? So what I'm saying to you is and go back and check the previous sessions in UNA America where we did the cosmic circle and previous sessions, pre-sessions that I've done, y'all got to understand who you are. All of this, what you think is you're seeing out here is not, it's not even the real world. The real world is up here. So let's get to it now. How do we affect this up here then, Diva? Okay, get your energies right. If you're constantly having negative thoughts and fearful thoughts and angry thoughts, angry thoughts, well, you're going to continue to manifest that. If you want to manifest something different, you're going to have to change your mind. And I spoke about this uh, a couple of uh, days ago where I spoke about those five things you need to do. All right. If you don't have, once again, the hierarchy of laws and the universal laws, go get them. Because now I'm going to move into these uh, lower laws because everybody wants to think, okay, well... Uh, I just want to fill out some paperwork. What? Okay, let me tell y'all something. Um, if you don't understand who you are to this land that you're trying to grab, if you don't understand who you are to this land that you're trying to grab, you're going to be tricked into turning it over again. Again, I'm going into a little bit of history with you carbonated women. Y'all carbonated women. Now, sometimes I make a mistake and say melanated, but there's a difference. I'm talking to you carbonated original women that are original of the planet, but especially of this land. You gave the land up. You gave the land up. You sold your mother. So some of y'all still, because you're not in your right mind, if the right person came along with the right dollar sign and dollar figure, you would turn it over. You sold your mother. And some of y'all are still in that mindset today. I'm going to tell y'all something about what's going on. Pay attention. Pay attention. When I say you sold your mother, when those people came into this land and they start trying to make deals to do business on the land, you sold out. We sold out. All right. I don't understand that UNA, but you sold out and we sold out. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that when we get the land back, we understand we, we stand in our right mind. Now, what am I saying? If you don't know who you are and you go acquire this land and you go doing, um, you know, filling out your little paperwork 
and you don't understand who you are, you're going to be tricked into turning the land over again. Again. Because one of the things we're not recognizing and understanding are the laws. Look, let me, let me, uh, let me flip this rig so that y'all can see this. Go, go, Divas rig. I need y'all to understand something. This is the hierarchy of laws. Just in case you all don't have it, go and download it from UNA Republic, UNA Republic.com forward slash, forward slash docs. All right, look, hierarchy of laws. All right, we got the universal laws, natural laws, laws of maxim, sovereign contract law. All right, y'all need to know these things because I'm going to break some things down to you real quick. All right. One of the things that we're not understanding, all right, is that when we're talking about what's going on with the land, the people who are selling you land can't even really sell you land because they never owned it in the first place. And they're not selling you land. They're selling you uh, fraudulent or a fictitious, I'm going to say fraudulent, but it's fictitious address is what they're selling you. They're not selling you land because they can't sell you land. They never owned it. They're just selling you a fictitious address. You own the land. And you keep paying them for the land that you already own. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because some of y'all are still not getting it. I tell y'all this, and y'all still be talking about. Oh, well, I wanna, uh, uh, I wanna take out a loan. Pay attention. <laughs> you own the land, carbonated women. As a matter of fact, truth be told, the only one that can own land in this the americas all of the americas from canada on down to the south american antarctica and everything below and beneath both of them you own the land it's yours but because you don't know self you keep paying somebody else to give you something that already belongs to you what you talking about diva all right so I said, you sold the land, carbonated woman, when these so-called Europeans, and let's make this clear, the Europeans were not a, 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 a light-skinned people. They were dark-skinned. They were melanated, carbonated woman. So when these melanated entities came over and they offered you some kind of whatever they offered you protection or funds or whatever to, to take this land. Oh, oh, you gave it up. And this is why you're in the position you're in. Go and look at the Iroquois Confederacy, which I always talk about. You should be able to get that from unarepublic.com forward slash docs. When you go there, what you're going to see in the Iroquois Confederacy is how the woman owns all of the land. A man can't own land unless he comes through the woman. Carbonated woman. Do you know who you are? All right. This is just the facts. Now, the Iroquois Confederacy is a legal document. Legal document. That was set down by the original people of this land who did not, by the way, call themselves Moors. The original people of the land who did not, by the way, call themselves Moors. If you want to know what their names are, go and look in the Iroquois Confederacy. Also, there's a, a, a list there that has a list of uh, several of the treaties that I personally have read and gone through myself. And I know not one time did anything about no Al Morocco mentioned, or Morocco, or none of that was mentioned. You know what they talked about? This is their land and what their family or clan names were. Go and read it. Go and put it down. Pull it down. All right. 
I gotta wrap this up real quick. Y'all know I know y'all know I love history. I love I'm gonna go into it probably in the next cosmic circle, so y'all stay tuned. Let me get to it because when you sold the land, um you did an injustice. You went against the universal laws. And so this is why you're paying. If you want to stop paying, you need to repent. Stop with your anger. Stop trying to get some, get back. Get some get back. No. Just know who you are. Know how to stand. And when you know how to stand, the land cannot be taken away from you. You can go and claim whatever you want when you know how to stand. And that's what we talk about in the law seminars. This law, uh, business law seminar that we're doing, that's what we're talking about. That's why you want to pay uh, $300 because we're going to walk you through it. Now, I can tell you all the stuff here because, listen, I already told y'all the reason why I've had to make sure that you all uh, give a donation. Why? Why? Because I'm helping you to invest in yourself. Oh, I know it sound. You don't get it. You got to invest in yourself. Some of y'all get this information and you poop on it. I can't keep doing that. So you got you're gonna have to invest in yourself and then you get it. But I'm giving you all the information. <laughs> but those who come into the seminar, we're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna answer your questions. We're gonna make sure you have some kind of backing uh with you so that you understand exactly what you're doing uh and how to rebound if you make any mistakes. All right. Listen up, because I gotta move through this real quick. All right, now. One of the things that you're not understanding is the laws. So I'm going to start from the top. Internet, uh, universal law. As a matter of fact, let me start from the lower laws. All right. All right. So we've had the, the, the mothers, the carbonated women, the matriarchs that turn over the land. All right. One of the things about international law. Let's start here and I'm going to work my way up. International law says... Uh, the land reverts to the original people of the land always. All right. So this means you couldn't sell the land if you wanted to. Now, these entities that are in here trying to sell the land to you, they don't, they don't own the land. All right. They don't own the land to you. All right. That's, first of all, uh, what they're, again, I told you, they're just selling an address to you. Secondly, let's go over uh, the laws of maxim. Laws of maxim uh, means that uh, you cannot control or own that thing which created you. All of us come from the land. All of us are from the land. The earth is the mother. You can't own or control that which created you. That's, you, that's the laws of maxim. All right. So again, you can't you couldn't own it even if you wanted to. Universal laws. No one can truly own any land. Cuz again, the land created you. Now, what we do is we learn how to operate in these lower laws with our documentation or what have you. But you've also got to understand how to operate in the universal laws. And getting your spiritual energies right. And recognizing what the land is. See, a lot of us, you know, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of us just hoard. We want to get the land. We're not going to do anything with it. Oh, it's just in my family. But you're not growing nothing. You're not building nothing. You're not using it for anything. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it. Well, what you doing with it? Now, when you get the land back, this is the problem. We weren't, this other thing that we weren't doing, we weren't maintaining the land. We weren't doing anything with it. We're just sitting on it. Okay? So now, these other entities come in, and they take it away. Well, that's by law, because we weren't, we were neglecting it. As we come back into possession of our land, we need to come back into possession of our minds. You understand? And understanding why we lost it in the first place. 
Again, carbonated woman, it's all on you. Where's your mind? Get your mind right. And you won't have such a big fight. Now, this is what I need to talk to you about real quick. And I got to get out of here. I'm going to meet my folks in the uh, university, UNA University. Let's understand this and listen to me closely. Listen to me carefully. There is no such thing as foreclosure. There is no such thing as foreclosure. I'm going to say it again because some of y'all missed it and you're not getting it. There is no such thing as foreclosure. All right. When these so-called mortgage companies and other entities come at you and they're sending you these documents and notices, these are just legal notices. They're not lawful. They're just legal. All right? And they're telling you they're foreclosing on your property. Well, here's the deal. Again, they never owned it, so they can't take it away from you. They never owned it, so they can't take it away from you. What they're doing is they're threatening you. They're threatening you to take it. And, and yeah, some of these cops come in and they, you know, do what they do. And it's illegal. But you got to know how to stand. And this is why, this is one of the reasons why we show you how to put your, your property under trust. Put it under trust. So they tell you, oh, we're going to foreclose on you. And what happens is you leave. What, what just happened, you just abandoned the property. That's what you did. So they played that game. And that's D-O-C-S, U-N-A, U-N-A Republic.com forward slash D-O-C-S, as in Sam. So they tell you that they foreclosed and you walk away from your property. You have just abandoned it. So then to do it again, to keep the property, and then they're going to resell it to someone else. Now, on top of that, what you've got to understand is when you're going into these mortgages, what well, you got to understand, a mortgage is a death pledge, mort as in mortality, mort, death. It's a death pledge. When you go into this mortgage, what you have done is, is sign a, a pledge to them to where you, you, make, you pay them money. First of all, let me get this straight. Let's get this straight. You didn't own, you didn't loan, they didn't loan you any money. You are the one who loaned them money. When you sign the document, as I always tell you, your signature is the money. All right, as soon as you sign the document, you loaned them money. They pretend that they loaned you money. All right, now, let's talk about the ways that they make money off of this deal. And there are many ways, all right? I'm just going to talk about a few. First of all, of course, you sign the um the document, and then you promise to pay them whatever uh, monthly rate that you're going to pay them. All right. Well, as soon as you promise to pay them that, they've made money. They've gotten you in a pledge, a death pledge that you're going to pay them back. And, of course, you end up paying them uh, three, four times what you quote unquote borrowed. All right. That's one way. Second way is as soon as you sign that document, that instrument, because you just created a financial instrument. And those of y'all who are in my session, you know what a financial instrument is. You've created a financial. If you don't know what it is, then you need to be in seminar. You need to be in the university. You create this financial instrument. And then that mortgage company turns it over to the bank. That was money. If your, your, uh, your loan was for $100,000, you just gave uh, a financial instrument of $100,000. All right. Plus, you're paying way more than $100,000 just to pay it back. So that's two ways. The third way, you know, when those of y'all who uh, ever bought a home, you know, they'll have this list of uh, ad valorem tax. And, well, I, I said ad, that's for the car. I don't know. But, you know, they have all these house costs this, land costs this, deed costs this, insurance costs this right there. 
They make you pay for the insurance. Pay attention. Pay attention. They're making you pay for the insurance. Well, you're not understanding. And what some of y'all are understanding, and then I'm going to close out on this note, is that when you pay for the insurance, for, they have created a bond. They've tapped into your Social Security account once again for whatever the whole value of. So if it's $100,000 that you pay or that you have assigned this instrument for, not only have you given them $100,000, then you're going to pay them two or three times more than $100,000. Then you created a bond under the insurance for at least $100,000 to pay for the full value of the home in the event that you foreclose. Listen up. Because what happens is, in a lot of these cases, what they call predatory lending, they want you to foreclose. They purposely make the loan in such a way that you foreclose. And when you foreclose, not only do they get the house and they keep the money that you've given them, they keep the instrument that you created, but they're going to hit the insurance company <laughs> for $100,000. And, you know, $100,000 is small for a house these days. <laughs> they don't hit the insurance company for the full value of that loan that you made. And they're going to get that $100,000. Once again, because you didn't know about the insurance that you paid for. That money's supposed to go to you, not them. That's just a couple of the ways. And that's just because I don't have time to go into it because I got to get ready for the university. For those of you all who really want to learn it and invest in yourself. Uh, Divalerie.com. D-I-V to the A-L-Y-R-I.com. Go there. All right. Go there and um, get Put your donation down. Send the confirmation to UNA America. UNA America. And uh, we're going to get you into that seminar. But this season, what we're dealing with is businesses. Business law seminar. Those who want to go to their paradise. All right? We're talking about going to the paradise. We're not going to keep messing around. You know, fussing and fighting and arguing with these people. No, we're going to our paradise. And so for those of you all who really want to get this knowledge and be able to stand, who want to be able to stand on whatever you're claiming, whether it be your finances, whether it be your home, your land, whatever, for those of you all who want to know how to stand and get all of the laws from your spiritual energies, all the way down to, to these, this legal documentation. You want to get that in order? Y'all need to go divalarie.com. Divalarie.com. And then uh, send, send your donation. Use the top link with the diamond. The top link with the diamond. And um, go ahead and uh, give your donation, $300 minimum, to get into this seminar. All right? And we're going to show you how to protect yourself. We're going to show you how to stand. And so, yeah, what has happened is... Um, that again, you've put out all of this money <laughs> and you're paying all of these people with your hard earned money and your hard earned sweat and tears. And then they come and snatch the land back from you. They snatch your land that you already own from the beginning, carbonated woman. Is your mind right? Because if your mind is not right, it doesn't matter about all this stuff you do. It's still going to be taken away from you because you don't have knowledge of self. What are you doing with your energies? All right. Um, we're going to go over some things, what you say in court. We're going to uh, show you how to produce contracts. We're going to show you how to create your, in your insurance for yourself. We're, gonna, we're going over bonds today. Bonds. All right, so if you really want to learn, uh, y'all want to get into the university uh, and, and uh, invest in yourself. People ask me, well, how much I, so should I invest? How much do you want to come back to you? I always tell people, whatever you put in UNA, multiply that times five, watch it come back. Whatever you put into UNA, multiply it times five, watch it come back. So y'all need to go uh, deeplyread.com. 
dvlarie.com, D-I-V to the A, L-R-I.com, invest in yourself, invest in what we're doing here, and invest in knowledge, all right? Now, y'all want to pay all this money uh, so, so that somebody can keep you enslaved. You want to pay money to them, but when it comes to uh, freeing yourself, you don't want to invest in yourself. Well, it's up to you. It's up to you, because I'm going to get mine. <laughs> I want to help you get yours. Diva. All right, y'all, divalarie.com. I want to see y'all go ahead and load up into the university. I really do love ya. I love ya. D-I-V to the A-L-Y-R-I.com. Divalarie.com. Is that what you want me to repeat, brother? Uh, Mark, Mark Yell. Mark Yell. Uh, thank you, Tina. Glad to see you, Sandra. Uh, Arlene, uh, glad you're here. All right, so we're ready, Viviana, we're ready to load up, Brother James, uh, Kichi. We're going to load up into the UNA University, and uh, we're ready to get this thing started. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, I'm out of here. I love y'all. Peace. Diva. Bye-bye.